So how is it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today we're taking a look at a target range, let's say, called Aim Hero. Now this is a game in early access on Steam. It is designed to teach you how to use first person shooter games or no, that's not that's not true at all. It's designed to help you get better at first person shooters, especially popular ones like Counter-Strike and uh, I guess Overwatch now. Now, this is not something that I usually cover, obviously, and some people might be wondering why would I cover anything to do with first-person shooters. The answer is a little bit complicated, so if you're interested in that, just stick around and I'm going to explain it. So there is a site called Keymailer, and they offer to provide an interface between developers and content creators such as myself to a small extent. I do do some content creation on YouTube, of course. And uh, they work as an interface to provide keys to content creators who are interested in certain games. So that way you don't actually have to go ahead and directly mail the developer themselves and ask for a key. Makes it very easy. You know, your channel gets verified and everything, and the developer can see what your viewership is like, how many subscribers you have, how many followers you have on Twitter, stuff like that. So what I did was uh, I signed up because there was a game that I wanted to play and I didn't want to pay for it. However, I was not approved. My account was not verified for probably about two months. So in the interim, I didn't get the game and instead I got access to this. Uh, the developer apparently just sent me a key for it. So I accepted it, just curious to see how the entire system worked. And apparently if I accept the key for a game, it is added to like a tally. And if I don't produce a video on it, I guess that would count against me for, in other words, like, uh, what do they call it? Key scalpers? Taking a key and not doing essentially what you're promised to do with it. So for those who are wondering what uh, how they should use Keymail or don't accept keys you're not going to produce content for. So I've been sort of pigeonholed into creating content for this game. And it's definitely not up my alley as it were, but apparently the developer thought that I was uh, trustworthy enough to take a look at it. So the first thing I just like to say off the bat, I do not appreciate the main menu here. What we have this, we have this camera swinging around. And now I understand, I have definitely seen worse in my time, some main menu developers like, uh, what is that game? Heroes of Might and Magic, right? I think it was Heroes of Might and Magic 5. They did this absolutely obnoxious thing with the main menu in which they panned it back and forth very rapidly, which just made me motion sick as all hell. I'm not somebody who has high tolerance for motion sickness inducing games like that. So anyway, here is the menu. We have classic strafing, penta, simple reflex, and fast aiming. And all of these are different uh, different scenarios, let's call them. They're, they're like different target ranges. They have like a different gimmick to each of them. And then you also have a map as well as skill. So let's, for example, take the Penta map training. We have different uh, maps here. They're not very descriptive. I think this is one thing that I would definitely crack on, crack down on. The, these look like XML tags yet. Like there was supposed to be a finished version of this tag, but it's not here. So you just see what the map itself is called in the XML file. I mean, if my time spent modding Civilization 4 is any indicator, that is definitely how you use XML tags in your games. And you can adjust the skill here, medium, low, high. I think we're going to do low because I absolutely suck at first-person shooters. So click start, and here we are. I'm using my mouse to aim. You cannot move. You are completely stationary, and you can see the environment is a rather minimalist. Uh, I mean, you got white and you got blue. That's basically it. Press R to start training, and uh, we're going to focus over here. So, right here is the idea. This is the idea of the game. You shoot at the little uh, clay targets, I guess you could call them. And you only have a certain number of uh, bullets per, like, uh, round. So I'm shooting at targets here, not hitting many of them, obviously. And you do this for 155 more seconds. And this supposedly is going to increase your reflex rate or your accuracy or something like that in games such as uh, Counter-Strike. I do own Counter-Strike, but the question I have is, is this more effective in becoming a better Counter-Strike player than simply playing Counter-Strike? Because usually, if you want to get better at something, you do that thing. 
you don't do something else. But since I don't know all that much about the game, it could be quite possible that uh, there. this is a very... This is an action you don't engage in a lot in the game. So being force-fed it at a very rapid rate, allowing you to practice this a lot, would uh, you, you'd improve your skill in that area much faster than if uh, you just can't hit those, than if you played regular matches, of course. Okay, well, that's enough time. I do not see any way to adjust the amount of time you train for, and I'm not sure who determined that that was the appropriate amount of time to practice each of those. I mean... Obviously, somebody has to come to these decisions, but it would be nice if I could just set it as a setting, like say, I want to practice this uh, fast aiming for 15 minutes, or I want to practice classic for 15 minutes. And after that's done, then I can move on to something else. But apparently that's not an option. And to be fair, the maps here are not all that, uh, that noticeably different. Okay, here we have another one. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure I've ever played this one. Okay, we have a whole bunch of targets all over the screen. I am not sure how this is supposed to work. I mean, like, am I losing here? Hundred and fifty-six more seconds of this. Yeah, I would definitely say that's a big downside. If I have okay, training report is over. And I had 150 to, so apparently I was, I, I was not supposed to miss that much. So anyway, yeah, they do give you reports like this, and I can't exit out. I guess I can press escape, they'll exit me out, but I mean, there's no way to exit out. There's no prompt to exit out. What do we have for options here? We can take a look at mouse sensitivity. You cannot adjust the mouse sensitivity on its own, but there are two game profiles here, CSGO and Overwatch. Uh, oh wait, you can adjust the sensitivity apparently. Not sure why. I mean, is there any difference between these two games? You have two different profiles here for different sensitivities and they're still 2.5, so uh, that's like the illusion of choice, really. It's not really any different. Crosshairs, we can change the crosshair type. You can make it a circle if you like it. And also change the crosshair size. No uh, slider, it'd be, be nice if you could just pull and slide the crosshair size. What can we... What size is one? It'd look like that. And then we can do the audio. So oh, once again, these are keyboard, I mean a game volume, 0.7. Difficult to determine. I mean, okay, music volume is at zero. Let's well, suppose we put that at 0.9 and save it. Oh, look, now we have music. I had no idea that we would ever get music. Apparently the game does have music, but it's not on by default. Hmm. So that is Aim Hero, pretty much in a nutshell. It uh, It's a target range for people who want to shoot at stuff. I'm pretty sure this is not where I want it to be. I said classic. Okay, let's do strafing ones. Press R to start training. Now we have some nice background music. Yeah, 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 get him, get him. Can't. I'm terrible at that, obviously. So the idea here, Target range for first person shooters. You got pretty much your standard stuff. It's a, it's a novel idea. I'm not sure I'm against it. It's just, this is not something I would ever buy. Um, I probably even, if I'd known more about the terms and conditions, I wouldn't have even accepted it for free because it is something that does not interest me in the least. But I suppose the reviews on it currently on Steam are positive. There are about 23 of them, so apparently somebody found it useful. Uh, not sure if the, all those keys were given away, but it's uh, it's a small project that obviously it's in development yet. They're going to be adding more games to it, and uh, that's pretty much Aim Hero. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and I hope to see you next time.